Now we're looking at the idea of Kimura, a submission hold, or at least a quasi-submission hold, uh, as a response to a wrestling move, a single leg takedown. Understand that single legs come in many different guises, and one of the most common is where the head shifts to the outside. Kimura's work extremely well in this context too. So Placido shoots with a head to the inside single, comes in, boom, and we're like so. From these situations, he elects to stand up to his feet. And from here, we're fighting for, uh, uh, for control. Your job here is to slow things down and provide some initial resistance. You can't be that guy that your opponent just touches your legs and you just fall over with no resistance. That's no good. So when we see him trying to pull us around, we're controlling our training partner's head. We're just going to take our training partner's head and we're just going to pass it across to the outside. Okay? It's actually not that hard because the only contact is his forehead just in here. Now, as we go to pass our training partner's head, his elbow becomes exposed and we lock up the Kimura. Now, from here, it's a slightly different scenario. You need to bring your left foot forward, Placido. And then from here, otherwise you're out of balance, buddy. Yep. And uh, from here, we can hit a nice Kimura. You're going to find, because his head is on the outside, you're going to get better elevation and amplitude with the takedown. Okay? So as we hold our balance, I'm, my leg's nice and bent, I jump past the line that joins his two feet. And we take him right over. Because his head's on the outside, it tends to be a cleaner lift over the top. Now we lock up a triangle, put everything above his head, and separate our training partner's hands. We take everything to the stomach, I turn my hand palm up, and then from here as he tries to fight back up to his feet, our straight arm makes it quite difficult. We slide our knee through underneath him, second foot goes over the hip, back heel exposes the bottom hook, and then we're behind our training partner in the best submission position of the sport. So, we have an opponent who does a really good job of getting into our legs, picks it up just like so. From here, as we get our initial control, he's trying to shake us down to the mat. We're hopping, moving, just like so. Now we pass the head across to the outside. We lock up a quick Kimura. From this position, I just jump between his legs and take him over to Sumigation. We lock up a quick triangle, separate his hands, and do what we always do. Get that palm up grip, locking that quasi kimura just like so. As he fights his way up, he runs into that stiff arm. It makes it easy for us to pull his body into a position when from here, the submission holds come easy. So this is a really practical way for us to employ kimura and sumigeshi in unison against an opponent whose head is moved to the outside on a single leg takedown.